In this video, we will show how to connect a multifunction relay to a transformer. Pick the relay symbol from the equipment palette. Take it next to the high voltage breaker on the primary side and click. If you drag it close to the circuit breaker and let it go, it will snap on. Connect a CT on the secondary side. Drag the relay and connect it to the CT. You can slide the CT symbol around. Next, connect a CT and place it on the neutral grounding transformer. Drag the relay and connect it to the CT. And position your relay so that your graphics looks neat and clean. Next, double click on the CT to enter the ratings. This is a 12.5 MVA transformer at 13.8 kV. So the full load amps is going to be close to 523. Set your CT ratio. Next, double click on the secondary side, CT, and enter the CT ratio. Say this is 3000 by 5. Enter the data for the grounding CT. Say this is 50 by 5. Next, we will enter the data for the relays. Double click on the relay. Select the manufacturer and the type. Say this is GE and a transformer relay called SR745. And the function ID, uh, the first device function we shall call this 5150 for overcurrent relay on the primary side. Select the CT. So this is CT number three. And the device to trip is HV breaker. Next, go to settings tab and choose your pickup settings as well as time dial settings. Curve, I'm going to choose very inverse with a time dial setting of 1. Next, I'm going to enter data uh, for the overcurrent protection on the secondary side. So I have to choose multifunction and then function ID 2. Again, this is going to be 5150 and this is going to be fed by CT number 4. Choose the breaker. Go to settings tab and choose your pickup. Next we will enter the third device function, which is the ground trip for faults on the secondary side. So this is device function number three. 
and I'm going to choose 51N and fed by CT number 5. Choose your high voltage breaker to trip. Next go to settings tab and choose your setting. That's how you enter data for a multifunction relay.